Well, good morning. Um, I'm sure it's not that good of a morning if you were up at 2.30, but not surprised. That's okay. Hopefully the concert was good. Um, I think somebody that I'm tutoring is uh, in the choir, and they had to go to New York, so I'm not sure if that was the same one or not. But here's this problem. You start right here, and you've got your block, and it's attached to the spring. You push it back. Then when you let go, the spring extends to here, and then the block goes at a constant velocity, and then it stays at that same velocity to the right, but then it also has speed going down. So they want us to find x here. So here's 1 half k. That d squared is that distance that you pushed it back, and so that's that compression. Uh, and that's equal to the kinetic energy. And so what we did was we took this equation, we solved it for VH by multiplying both sides by 2, divide it, well, crossing off the half. Nonetheless, uh, there's your expression for V squared. Then we said, well, that's also <clears throat> equal to V because we're going to square root both sides. So now we know how fast this thing is traveling left to right right here. We need to define how long it takes for it to fall, which is the same thing as how long it takes to go left to right. So this is now just a projectile problem. And uh, you solve for the time, so we did that here. And then we took this velocity where it's at the top and we plugged it in to the horizontal velocity is what that is. So that's just the velocity left to right. So that's this guy times that time that we found right here. So we just plug that in right here. And now we've got an expression for the distance it goes left to right using all the variables that they wanted. And that's it. Good luck today. You'll be fine. Take your time. Hopefully you got enough sleep. And if you didn't, you've got enough coffee in you to keep going. Talk to you later.